residents who choose this program are usually high performing residents who have a broad vision of healthcare. They see medicine really in the context of society. They are looking to change the world and make it better. And they are willing to engage in that process. The goal is to provide equal care to any patient that walks in whether they have insurance or not, the type of insurance they have, none of that really matters. The goal is really making sure that the patient gets the best care they need um, and based on their personal health needs. What I've seen with the residents is they are able to accrue a really nice panel of patients where they develop relationship over time and they see these same patients, you know, multiple times during their three years here. It's a patient-centered focus really with an emphasis on empathic listening so that uh, our residents really know who their patients are. I think that's an aspect of primary care that can be undervalued and yet is really essential for helping patients in the primary context be empowered to really focus on their health. We also have good integrative medicine programs that I think really distinguishes us. And so I think residents can expect to A, get a really strong integrative medicine as it pertains to family medicine uh, in terms of didactics and their longitudinal curriculum. And I think they can expect also to have good opportunity to get precepted in that so that in real time, they'll be able to have um, chances to learn integrative medicine in a family medicine primary care context in the underserved. All our residents are seeing a panel that's undifferentiated. There's no difference between a faculty panel and a resident panel. And our patients are sometimes coming with easy problems, but many of our patients are very complex, have multiple medical conditions. And being that our patients are so complex and have so many different issues, the residents really get prepared to provide care down the line for anyone getting into their practice. Folks coming through this residency program, they will get a lot of exposure through their clinic work and through their inpatient work of kind of top issues that hit kind of urban underserved. Folks that are interested in health disparities and helping with that and kind of seeing that in practice, I think that is something that we see and we deal with and we try and figure out solutions for, um, both in like an individual doctor patient level, but also at a bigger level. Advocacy is something that we try to weave into um, the training throughout all didactics and all of our training and it can take on all sorts of different walks of life we kind of work with what residents are interested in advocating for and about in like that time period and what what makes sense the breadth of knowledge that we end up having whether it's the patients that we serve the cases that we see the opportunities that are available to us being located in a major city um, working in an academic hospital that has access to a variety of different specialties makes choosing electives that could be like very obscure, more easy. And then at the same time working at an FQHC, we kind of have the best of both worlds. And if you um, envision yourself working in an urban underserved environment, you have a passion for like women's health or HIV care, want to have a good balance between inpatient and outpatient medicine, this is really an incredible program to consider. When the COVID-19 pandemic came to New York, our residents and faculty were right there on the front line. They demonstrated incredible professionalism and dedication to our patients and the institutions where we work. In a community health center setting where we work and train our residents, we are taking care of patients of color who are at even higher risk of getting sick. And right now we're dealing with the aftermath of that. There's a lull in infection and we're, we are preparing and guarded against another surge, but we can do the best that we can to make sure our residents have the skills they need to become the next generation of family physicians who can lead our country.